Now it's been a couple of days and uh, I believe these are dry. So I'm going to pull the pins off and see how it looks. It's all straight. Yeah, I'm happy with that. There's a little bit of wrinkling right here, but I think that's just the way the moth came out. Yep, that looks really good. Okay. Yep, very nice. All right, and then the stick bug. I didn't make a video of pinning up the stick bug because I have another video that shows you how to do that. Um, but this one's also dry, so I'm going to pull all these pins out. There we go. Let's see how it looks. Now, this one, since all the gut was removed, there's nothing really to hold the pin. And you can see it slides through very easily. So I'm going to have to put something in here with some glue on it to hold the pin. And uh, I think I'm going to use some spun polyester uh, because it'll be pretty easy to tuck some in. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to uh, roll it up. Yeah, that worked. Okay, okay. I'm going to take some glue. I'm going to use uh, this blue gel clear um, water-based glue. And I'm just going to squirt a bunch into that fiber so that it soaks in. And then when the pin goes through, that should give it a good solid anchoring inside the thorax. There. Put the pin back in. Make sure it's nice and straight. Yeah. And I'll have to let that dry for a little bit before I Put it in the drawer. Make sure this is nice and straight. Yeah. All right, we'll let that dry for a little bit. So let's get a data label on here. These specimens didn't come with uh, much detail at all. I just know the country, Vietnam, and uh, the name, Actius rotonuma, and it's a male. And uh, the only thing I can put for a date is pinned 2019, because that's all I know about it. So, uh, there. All right, so now we'll put it in the box. This is the uh, Luna Moth box in my teaching collection. This is the uh, Rotonuma that I have, and uh, you can see that it's a little bit larger than the other one. Wings are a little bit longer, but you can see the abdomen is not nearly so good a shape. It's kind of crushed, and uh, this specimen was really greasy when I got it, and I had to degrease it in acetone. And 
it was in pretty rough shape. But again, these have been hard to come by. So comparatively, this one is is really nice. It's in beautiful condition. So we'll just put that in here. Oh yeah, that's going to look really great. There we go. It looks very much like the uh, Du Bernard eye, um, and color-wise, but it's really distinctive. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. And this is my stick insect box, and uh, here's my old one here. Boy, it really looks faded now compared to a fresh one. This is Tegasoidea nigra fasciata, which makes sense, N nigra fasciata black stripe. So I'll pull this one out. It's still in relatively decent shape here, but look at the difference between the two. Wow, that looks so much better. I think I've had this one for, I don't know, 15 years or something, and it wasn't in that good a shape to start with, but boy, that's sure an improvement. The glue has dried somewhat on it, and this is the same size, so it should fit right where I took the other one out. Oh yeah, vast improvement. Back it up a little bit. It's a little bit crooked. Oh yeah, really nice. Boy, that's much better. And then this is the male here, which is uh, white instead of yellow. I always enjoy having the opportunity to upgrade to uh, nicer specimens. I want people to see them at their best.